Let's take a look at the pH scale and see how it relates to acids and bases. The pH scale is used to describe how acidic or basic a solution is. Just to clarify here, when students hear the word acid, they often think of an acid as corrosive and dangerous. A strong base can be just as corrosive and dangerous. In fact, we have less tolerance for the ingestion of a strong base than we do acids. If you check out the pH scale in the course, you will see that many of the foods that we consume are on the acidic side and many heavy duty cleaners are on the basic side of the pH scale. The pH scale is based on a logarithmic scale that ranges from 1 to 14. A logarithmic scale is a scale based on multiples of 10. So each number on the pH scale represents 10 times more hydrogen ions as we move from the right to the left on the pH scale. In other words, a pH of 9 has 10 times more hydrogen ions than a pH of 10. A pH of 3 has 100 times more hydrogen ions than a pH of 5. A simple way of calculating this is to count the number of spaces you move from the number you are converting from to the number you are converting to and add that same number of zeros. For example, as I move from a pH of 6 to a pH of 3, I am moving 3 spaces. So I put down the number 1 and add 3 zeros. I now know that there are 1,000 times more hydrogen ions at a pH of 3 than there is at a pH of 6. Now you try. How many more hydrogen ions are there in a solution with a pH of 6 than a solution with a pH of 11? Hopefully you've figured out that a pH of 6 has 100,000 times more hydrogen ions in solution than a pH of 11. At a pH of 7, a solution is considered to be neutral. Neutral means that the number of hydrogen ions is equal to the number of hydroxide ions. Think mathematically. If I add plus 5 to negative 5, I get 0. On the pH scale, an equal number of positively charged hydrogen ions added to an equal number of negatively charged hydroxide ions results in a neutral solution with a pH of 7. A pH reading from 1 to 6.9 is acidic on the pH scale and from 7.1 to 14 is basic on the pH scale. An understanding of pH is important in Biology 12 because pH levels vary from one part of the body to another. For example, the pH in your stomach is highly acidic at a pH of about 2 whereas the pH in your small intestine is about 8.5, slightly basic. There are protein molecules called enzymes that function to digest food in both the stomach and the small intestine. Enzymes in the stomach function optimally at a pH of about 2. If the pH level of the stomach were to change to a pH of, say, 6, the enzyme would be destroyed and no longer function. It is the same for the enzymes that function in the small intestine. They function optimally at a pH of about 8.5. If the pH of the small intestine were to change to a pH of 5, these enzymes would also be destroyed and no longer function. So the key here is that there are all kinds of chemical compounds throughout the body that will only operate at a specific pH level. And if the pH level changes, these compounds will be destroyed. The compounds we are going to talk most about in regard to pH levels are enzymes. Enzymes are compounds that catalyze chemical reactions in the body, so they are very important in biochemical pathways. Failure of these biochemical pathways may result in disease or possibly even death. 